<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on this new, and I'm here to recap the um, NASCAR Cup Series race um, from Darlington last night. The playoff opening for the NASCAR Cup Series in the round of 16. Yeah, I thought it was a below average race. A pretty boring race for the most part, except for stage three where a lot of the stuff happened with the Reddick controversy at the, in stage three with Newman spinning because Reddick slowing down trying to make because of Reddick trying to make a pit road even though he wasn't even going to make it. I guess he saw heart pitting I guess either crew chief decided to call it a pit 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 or he done it himself. Slow down and the only way Newman couldn't so he didn't run to the back of him was check up and spin out. So that happened Bowman being a Making a really dumb move, blocking twice in the straightaway, wrecking himself and Suarez and Burton in the final stage. That's where really, where really all the shenanigans really started to happen, was the final stage. A lot of wacky stuff. Uh, playoff drivers having problems. Even the lights going out in this race. Yes, there was a caution and a red flag for the lights. And three more because it was so dark. They wasted like 15 laps under caution, which pretty unnecessary, but yeah, that was the really the main shenanigans of the first playoff race at Darlington, and while yes, it's exciting where the playoff drivers are having trouble, you have to save your stuff so you don't burn up your tires, but the next gen cars really ruined Darlington. Like yes, it, the race was good last year, but this year was just kind of boring for the most part, because once the later down clean air, it was pretty tough to pass, unless they had an issue or hit the wall. But some playoff drivers did have issues though, and mostly in stage one. In a stage one, Joe Logano hit the wall, and his speed started to scrub off. He didn't really have beat that much speed, but he was losing a lot of time. And then Christopher Bale, who had a bad pit stop, that pit crew from Ty Gibbs switched to Christopher Bale had a very bad first pit stop, fell back to seventh, rallied to fourth or fifth, hit the wall, and the toe link was. I think was Ben. He dealt with all that for mostly most of stage two. They stay out, try to strategy, and then a caution, uh, or then a bubble wall spits and then a stage inside. Joe Logano just tried the same move with Almondinger. and that one didn't work. He spun out. Luckily, didn't hit anything and was able to continue his night. But Hamlin wins stage one. Uh, stage two, not much was really happening until the caution for lots and then the red flag. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Hamlin wins stage two, so it's big he won those stages and got 20 points because uh, he had some problems in stage three and never really recovered from it. Yeah, after pit stops, um, I know there was another cra crash in stage two before that, a uh, Cendrick and Gibbs wreck. Uh, Sandrick just completely wrecked himself. I don't know what he was doing. He was actually having a solid run for once this year, and then he wrecked himself. He, he pretty much put, put them both in the wall. So, yeah. Those were some more shenanigans. Yeah, and then Hamlin wins stage two. But then stage three is where the shenanigans start. So, Denny Hamlin pits, and he loses pretty much what, but it, what would have been the lead pit stop cycle through to Reddick. So he told the team he may have a loose wheel, and then Hamlin comes down pit road. And he's basically 30th a lap down. He was, his night was really ruined from there. But then he was told everything looked fine on the wheel, so... So that sounds like you don't tell the that sounds like something you don't tell the driver. So I'm pretty sure Denny was right. But yeah, um just another play another choke by the pit crew. I didn't think the race was that good, though. Like, overall. Uh, Yaley then scrubbed the wall, but he got to pit road. Uh, 
fact, Denny Hamlin won a caution right there. But yeah, then, um, uh, just some shenanigans. Where a caution for Newman, where, so, I don't know what Reddick was doing. Tyler Reddick, uh, Tyler Reddick, I guess, was just slamming on the brakes for fun. Which was a, a bad decision. He pulled, like, a Quinn half-type move. And that was not Newman's fault. He had nowhere to go. But, I mean, I guess if you want him to run to the back of Reddick. But that was so unlucky for Harvick. Because he just got to second. He was running down Reddick. He probably would have won that race. Honestly. Newman just tried to not ram his rear bumper. That was Reddick's fault all day. I mean, Newman should have just drove through him, to be honest. Like, he was not going to make pit road from there. I guess he saw Harvard pit, and they're like, oh, pit, pit, but well, you can't pit that far out. Reddick definitely caused that. He was never going to make that. I don't know what the heck Reddick was doing. And they, apparently the team had told him to pit on that lap, but they knew... Um, but they knew Harvard was coming, but he obviously had time to avoid coming down, get, coming down, getting pit road. Harvard just got screwed over. Wild that he caught. That's wild that he caused the caution, but yet Harvard gets punished. Me and Harvard have been a caution for <clears throat> Bowman and Suarez and Harrison Burton. That was just a terrible block by Alex Bowman. The first one he got away with, the second one he wasn't going to get away with. That was just too unnecessary, and don't know what the hell that was. Just, I mean, the first block was fair, but the second one had it coming. I feel like that was all Bowman. Like, the first block, he got away with it. But the second one, he wasn't going to get away with. I mean, I don't know what the hell that was. He, did, he pulled that move with Chastain, too. He pulled down Swartz the previous straight. And Suarez came in the corner, so Bowman did that essentially four or five straightaways in a row. And he was going to get wrecked, so that was just a, a dumb move. I guess it was just bonehead night in the second, in the third stage. I mean, that crash happened, Suarez and Bowman were done for the day, or were done for the night. Um, there was a caution for Gillen, I was just squeezing Gillen in the wall. A great move by Bush took out three playoff guys right there. Bale once again somehow being a part of a caught nearly every caution in this race by him not even causing one or causing an incident. Yeah, um, Gillen spun around. Hamlin tried to avoid him. McDowell piled him. And I guess I don't know what Kyle Bush was doing there. Yeah, they took out three cars. But, yeah, McDowell was done for the night. And so, basically, um, nothing really happened last three laps. Kyle Larson won the Southern 500. And he's advanced to the next round of the playoffs. So, Kyle Larson finally wins at Darlington. But I'll give the race a 3 out of 10. It was pretty boring for the most part. Like, yeah, you had um, some exciting, uh, I guess, stuff in the final stage with Reddick being an idiot and Bowman. Well, I guess I should just sh say shenanigans. Or if you, want, if, you, if you want to say it's entertaining, I guess. Nothing entertaining really happened. Like, a lot of the playoff guys had issues, some of them. But, yeah, for the most part, it was just pretty boring. I'll be honest. But yeah, we'll go over some notable, like, I guess, finishes. I guess from last night. Not gonna go over the full thing. I'll give some shout outs. Eric Jones, uh, 10th. He ran top 5. Top 3 of 5 when he got there. He finished in the top 10. Great finish for him. Um, AJ Almanier, 13th, ran near the top 10. Uh, Carson Hosefar in his second cup start ran top 20, really, a whole race and for his first race at Legacy Motor Club. I think he's gonna be a future superstar. But yeah, I was just kind of lost more than them. Mostly the playoff guys dominated. Besides McDowell having an issue late, Bale, Hamlin, their issues, yeah. But, 
um, yeah, I'll get the race 3 out of 10. That's all I'll say though. Until next time, I'll go out. So, Kyle Larson advancing next round. See, I have in the Kansas this weekend. So, until next time, I'm out.